Good morning from the cobbled streets of Geocaster. We are on our way to see uh, the main attraction in this town, the castle of Geocaster. So the town of Giro Castor is overlooked by this huge castle that sits high up upon the hill and that's where we're going to start our day. Okay so we are walking around the grounds, uh, it cost us 400 lek each to get in which wasn't too bad. There you So the castle is this big fortress that looks down over the old town and you can see where it gets its name that it's the stone city. Everything is made of stone, the, the roads, the paths, the houses and you can even see like the distinct rooftops that are all just made of stone. It's amazing to see, uh, you can really see it from up here and in fact I'm actually going to fly the drone. Okay, so we've heard that this castle is 1500 years old and it's the largest castle in the whole of Albania. In fact, it's actually the second largest castle in the whole of the Balkans. itself was actually used for many reasons uh, to store military equipment which we've seen in the museum and uh, it was also used as a prison and it was also used uh, where people could work they'd set up workshops in these kind of little alcoves right here and then people could make fabrics and food and drink and whatever it is they needed to do but yeah I think that's where this all went down now go down here it's torn it off which is pretty cool though because that means that they keep the castle in like the original state that it was so it's not you know, been redeveloped or put a restaurant in or anything like that. They kind of just have left it the way that it was. And what's pretty cool as well about this place is that it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Okay, so just reading here, the historic center of Geocaster is inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List as a place of outstanding universal value. And it's actually our second one to visit in the last two days. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Okay, we're on an interesting part of the castle. This is an American fighter plane from the 1950s. And the reason it's here is down to, well, there's two stories to it. Version one comes from the Americans and they say that the pilot landed it in Albania because of heavy fog. He was trying to fly from France to Italy and got lost. However, the communist regime in Albania at the time say that they intercepted it and forced it to land. Hence why it's here. So whatever story you believe, it's up to you. So the way the castle has been preserved is incredible. And um, they even have a museum here. So we're gonna go in and check that out now. There's nobody here. It is literally just me and Samantha. Everywhere we go, that's the story, isn't it? It's great. It is great. Just literally have the place to ourselves again. The museum is pretty interesting. It stores all the old weapons of war that are just, they're huge. Here we have a little model of the castle grounds. Okay, so we've come to a really cool part of the grounds right over here you'll see like a stage area and we did read that they do 
hold a lot of events here and one is a traditional folk festival that's here every year so obviously with covid it's probably been cancelled but that would be pretty cool so one of the main symbols of Giro Castor is the clock tower and this is a here right behind me So how the castle got its name is actually a very sad story. Princess Ajiro, who lived in the castle, um, fell under attack. So instead of surrendering, she jumped from the very top here while holding her baby in her arms. The baby did survive, so the castle is named Giro Castor in memory of the princess. I think Samantha was telling you the story about how the castle got its name. Just reading on from it here, it says the baby survived, right? It says that milk flowed from the rocks to feed our baby. That is crazy. So the baby survived down there. Just by chance that that happens like. That's crazy, isn't it? And then it says, which it does sound a little bit like, come on. But then it says here that a geological feature seems to confirm this story. At the foot of the castle, the limestone cliffs are covered in white calcium deposits. Oh. And uh, this is supposedly the exact spot where she jumped. So. Okay, we have just left the castle. Um, really, really good experience. Definitely enjoyed it. Definitely worth going to see. Uh, 400 lek each was the entrance fee. Uh, but on the topic of lek and money, we did get a, uh, a drone fine. Um, when we were walking out, she said, you know, you fly the drone. I was like, yes. She goes, we don't have a permit. And then they pointed to a, a poster that was on the wall that I didn't see, to be honest with you, but uh, it said that there was no drones allowed or if there was any drone um, flying, that there would be a penalty involved. So they originally had it at like 2,000 lek, which is about 16, 17 euros. But uh, we kind of haggled it down a little bit. We got it for 1,000 lek, but look, it was eight, nine euros. Um, the fine, we just paid it. Uh, better than you know getting the drone taken on me or whatever so um yeah just one of those things uh the drone footage is great i, I understand where they're coming from because it's a unesco or world heritage site and i don't want people to use it for promotion which is fair enough and i understand that uh, but yeah the reason i'm putting it in the vlog is because uh, if you ever do come to albania and you do come to geocaster and you want to go to the castle and fly your drone well then um just be wide to that So after all that walking around the castle, we are finally ready to eat. Okay, so the dish that we went for, both of us, is the same dish that we keep going for. It's the grilled feta cheese with like tomato and peppers. It's absolutely delicious. Okay, so we brought us out some bread as well, and it looks like there's like garlic butter melted on it. I'll give it a taste and tell you now. Hmm, no, it's not. It's actually like some oil and like oregano. Oh, okay. Really nice. And what are you washing it down with? What else? Geocaster's finest L bar. <laughs> Not a sponsored ad. Yeah. I also went for the uh, the feta cheese. I'm uh, on the Coke. Coca Cola, oh, wait. obviously. Wait, wait. What's over the far side? Okay. So we ordered some um, cream potatoes. So I think they're like potato grounds. Um, if so, I'd say. Do you know, it actually just delicious. looks like chips with, with. Oh my god, I think it is. With cream on, and try. cheese. Mm. It is. They are. They're chips with cream and cheese. Ah. Really nice. You try again. Tasty. Oh yes. Really okay. tasty. Can I eat now? <laughs> no, all for me. <laughs> <laughs> So we're just walking back now to the hotel and we stopped off there for a freebie. 
freebie. The restaurant that we ate in yesterday, uh, the guy, I think we filmed a little bit about him. Uh, really, really nice man. Um, we were walking by the restaurant and he says, come over. So we go over and he has this traditional Albanian mountain tea that he wants us to drink. Okay, so we've just made another little pit stop. And we are here now and we're trying some, what's the name of it? Mount Mount yeah. Chai Mali. Chai Mali. Chai Maldi. Okay. Mountain tea. Mountain tea. Mountain tea. Oh, lovely. This will definitely From high up in the mountains. Because it's absolutely freezing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, Thank you. It's lovely. The little lemon in between. Nice? Really nice, yeah. Yeah. It's a very tourist friendly place and um, the people I have to say they make you feel so welcome here of all the places we've been so far now I think this is yeah, this is definitely the, up there isn't it? Where it's like, just what I love about this place is just it's so genuine like the people are just genuinely there to help you yeah you can and see like, that they love having tourists here yeah, and yeah. it's a kind of like they kind of want to show off a little bit which is great you know what I mean but uh it's just like they're so proud of the fact that they're Albanian, their traditions, their food, their drink, and they just want to share that with you, you know? So yeah, so far we're really enjoying our experience here, aren't we? Absolutely. Geogaster, it must if you're in Albania. Absolutely. Definitely. Hmm? Open the door. You lifted two of them up. There you go. Ooh. Lovely. So we are just back at our hotel now and we have a Turkish coffee waiting for us. They're like little pancakes. Really? Yeah. Hold on. Oh my god. Can I explain for you? Yes. yes. Is it okay on, on camera to explain? I'm, I'm okay. Huh. It's okay? Yeah. Oh. No, it's okay. You are here in the biggest and the oldest souvenir shop in town. Okay. I work in this shop about 30 years. All the time the floor was higher. Okay. The well it's covered. Three years ago we done some restoration. We take it off this part of the floor and we found the well. Oh, oh my god. god. Three, only three years ago. Yeah. So three. you never knew this was here? I knew about the well, but I didn't know which place it was exactly and how it was because it was covered. But one hundred years ago the shop it was a bar and people use the water for coffee, for drink, for everything. Oh about god. sixty years it was covered. The well it's about four hundred years old. Four hundred? <laughs> um, about. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> they use the water for for the houses? Uh, here in uh, in this area, like okay. the, the circle, every 50 meters there are others. Ah, I see, wells, I, see okay? I see. But uh, in the first floor, yeah, you can pass You can water. stand on it? Oh god, yeah, it's yeah. nervous to stand on that. In all the <laughs> houses, there is a room and the, the people keep the water from the rain and they use for everything in the winter time. Okay? Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. But that is different. The water, people say the water came from the aqueduct from the castle. Ah, it I see. It was found the channels to spend the water in the, in the city here. Okay? Ah, okay. The well is about 400 years old, 17 meter deep, oh 9 god. meter water. Oh my god. The water is fresh and clean but not drinkable. Ah, uh, okay, I see. Wow, yeah, we take that the water is... by pump and we use that for clean and for refresh, not for drink. Okay. And uh, the temperature is about 20 degrees. It was connected with the other tunnel, it's uh, next to the, the government of the city. Yeah. Okay, but it was blocked because of the, the ground, it was down. Oh, okay. It's about 60 meters, 70 meters. Yeah. You will see if you want. That's okay. crazy, oh, yeah. Oh, light and you can check up. That's okay, great. That's Oh, thank you, Th thank you, you so um, much for our vibration. Yeah, thanks so much for for um, for telling all this. This is great. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs>
Are you well? Very good. Good. Nice <laughs> sweater today. Victoria? Yes, really nice. Also on mountain tea. Yeah, yeah. We'll come back for some mountain tea. Yes. Are you? Yes, we'll come back. Yeah. We're here with Rachi, and Welcome. Um, he owns this restaurant here. What's yes. the name of it? Uh, my name is Rachi, and uh, the restaurant is uh, El Dorado. Oh, very Who is nice. good for the pizza and the different raki. Oh, pizza! We love pizza. Mm. I don't and know for too much about the raki, though. It's very but, strong. Oh <laughs> uh, uh, no! Are you drinking the different of the fruit? Have uh, and uh, so uh, some sweet raki of uh, the apple or the blackberry. Oh, oh. Maybe we'll try that one then. For why not? Yeah, You're welcome. Yeah. What? And what one is your favorite? The apple or the blackberry? For me, it's one other who is. Uh, in the old raki, but in the boat, uh, boat of the uh, wild uh, cherry. Oh, wild well, cherry! Ah, yes. very nice. It's one of favorite, but you have different raki. Different ones. All the fruit uh, going in the raki. Ah, ah. So you recommend that one. Maybe we'll try that one. It might. For might why be nice. not? <laughs> yes, absolutely. You're going welcome. Oh, ah, really? okay. okay, cool. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Thank you so much. Okay. Will we sit out here or? Okay. <laughs> Lovely. This is. First, your. Oh, thank you so much. No, first is for the girl, but. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just, yeah, small bit for me. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Not, not, uh, don't it's for uh, drinking too much. It's for little really? glass. Little. It actually smells like wine. Um, no, no, it's a little bit of a. Have our oh. own and uh, uh, test it. Yeah. Ah. But uh, don't it sound away. Okay. Ah, okay. You go first. Have a little taste. Yeah. Okay. You go. <laughs> little strong, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. But it's. Strong. Uh, the rakim is uh, not only some alcohol, it, uh, <laughs> and maybe some medicament. For ah uh, medical oh okay so all, all the people eating the mint maybe ah. here ah. drinking little raki and mm, it's actually it nice. makes it fixes your throat if it's ah so that's I a see. sweet one is it yeah it's not like as it's, it's little a little sweet. bit easier to drink than mm. the ones that I've tried so mm. but the uh, the difference with the grape it's uh, too much yeah. ah. it's little ah. strong the grape and do you make this in Jiracasta yes yeah this is from here yeah. Lovely. Uh, or uh, here, don't they have raki, glico, and burek? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I want oh, to drink cheers. mine. Cheers. Here's to good health. <laughs> good luck. I cannot believe we have water for us. <laughs>